Hello, this is Guti. Hello, guys. We are the Neverdog. Salut, sunt Mahoni. Ce faci? I am Marcus Schultz. Salut, sunt Pagal. Hi, guys. I'm Leon. Hi, this is Joe Daniel. Hi, this is John DeGree. You're watching In Session on UTV. Dacă este ora 22, pe UTV începe In Session, emisiune pusă la cale de Crystal Club, Dance FM și UTV. Pe canapeaua cea roșie îl vom avea azi ca invitat pe DJ-ul și producătorul argentinian Guti. Are o poveste de viață foarte interesantă pe care abia aștept să o descoperim împreună. Inițial, când s-a apucat de muzică, producea jazz, mai apoi a trecut la rock și mai apoi la techno. Cum și de ce a făcut pasul ăsta vom afla în această seară împreună. Sunt Marius Sonuc, hai să începem! Your story is very interesting. First you, thought you started producing jazz, then rock and techno. What happened in 2006 when you started making techno? It was um, it was freedom, you know. I, I was tired of being in bands and just want to be myself and I found the good the good place to do it and now I have a band. I promise I would never have a band again. Now I have a band again with Francesco Tristano, Another Paradise. And we play music uh, this year and yeah, it looks like I'm back. <laughs> How did all this started with techno? Someone started... St it started um, I was in a band at the time, Jones Polioceros, very big. It was tired, you know. And then I met a guy that showed me some music, and then it just put the seed. And I, yeah, I was like, wow, I can do this, you know. And yeah, then I went to Europe. I met Seth and the guys, and yeah, I started. It started like a, like a game, you know. I was 26 at the time, and now I'm almost 40. So. <laughs> Did your life change when you started doing techno and DJing? Well, it changed uh, first uh, cultural-wise because I went, beside the general music, I went through uh, from living in Argentina with Argentinians and to travel the world to meet yeah. Romanians. Uh, no, but every every different culture every different day and yeah I think I'm a better man I'm a better musician too so this is what you dreamed of yeah well no I was I, I could not see more than two weeks <laughs> ahead but yeah I'm here you know and now I could not see myself doing something different traveling the world but do you miss those rock and roll parties no I don't miss my, my body doesn't miss them because it's I'm, I'm I was 20, and you're young, you, you have no fear, and now I, every, every time I go partying, my body hurts like four days. So. Isn't it harder to be a DJ, to tour? To it, was, it was hard, the rock. The rock was hard. I would tour the same with the band, we would be a bit crazy, a bit younger, and yeah, now the thing is to, to find the balance, I try to, to still have fun, but also not destroy myself too much, and yeah, it's good. It's working. How was it when you moved from Argentina to Europe? And in, in uh, how many cities you've lived? So many cities. Europe is good, it's different, you know. Um, the first, well, first I went to Berlin, but I was living with Seth. I, I like to say I was living with Seth, but the, the real story was I was sleeping on Seth's couch. Okay. 
I, di I didn't even have a room. So after that, I moved myself uh, to my own place and then really hit me the difference, you know, living in a different city by yourself and yeah, it's different. You're a live performer, yeah. uh, so in, we live in a world where everybody is mixing on tractors, yeah. CDJs, maybe vinyl. What's the difference between? Well, the, the difference is uh, I play my, my own music, so it takes me to produce a lot of music. It's not that I, I it's not a matter of statement like I, I, I play vinyl, I play this. I'm a musician. The normal progression was to play live and play my own music, and it's what I do. And it just keeps evolving. Okay, but it's very difficult to have a live act uh, comparing with uh, I don't know a tractor pushing the sync button and. That's well, but this is uh, different skills, you no? Know? And this is what I do, and I've been doing it for a long time, and I feel good with it. What's your best year so far? I would say this one. This one, this one was great. Some ways this year was great. AD, which has had, was great. Um, Sonar was great. Now the, and the festivals are nice, and now I've finished my new album that's coming now on Cutting Heads. Um, it was a good year this year. Yeah. What do you prefer the most, a club or a festival? Uh, both. I love festivals. It's different energy. Also, uh, in a club, you can get into people's head more easy. You know, no, not so physical, more more mental, like. This, this club is a good example. Do you have a different type of DJ set when when you're doing a festival or a club? Yes and no. I would say I play the same music because I don't I don't change the music I play. Obviously, you you have a different attitude when you have 10,000 people than when you have 200, you know? But yes, yeah, different tones of colors of the same. Let's talk about your label, Rompe Corazones. Do you get new talents? What names have you signed? So I put it two years you know, on, uh, on hold and produce m dance music and now I'm back doing a lot of things uh, that are to listen. That is, I think, where I'm going, you know. You met a lot of Romanians, yeah. you know Olivia and Robbie, your friends. What's your relationship with them and what Romanian DJs do you know? Well, I love Priku, I love Christy Collins, Black Kaya. I had a lot of stories with Livio and Robbie. Um, yeah, I, I really like the, well, even the, the young kids, like Victor, guy from downstairs, it's great, uh, and many, many names, and what I like is that they do, you know, they don't, they don't talk that they do. Uh, all the kids are in the studio every day producing new music, and that's why the music moves so fast, you know, here, because everybody's working. <laughs> about social media, I saw that you're very active. I lost Facebook and Twitter because I, I lost my password years ago. So I was like, okay, whatever. Someone posts like the gigs on Facebook, whatever. And, and I do Instagram, which I I travel so much, it's fun to me to show where I am, but 
Yeah, I don't know. Track stores, Beatport, which one do you prefer? I don't check none of them. <laughs> because I don't buy music. But yeah, I, 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 I think all these platforms are really important, you know? What was your dream when you were a kid? Or do you have something that didn't happen now, a dream? I want to be a football player. I used to fight judo for, for a long time. I used to dream to go to the Olympics. Then I, I dreamed to go to a band that I did and then moved to Europe and it's just trying to do your dreams. What's the most frequent cliche you met regarding DJs? I can tell you one. That black t-shirt. <laughs> All the DJs wear black t-shirts. <laughs> okay. You know why? Why? Because you're touring and if it's black you can wear it two times. You get an offer to wear a t-shirt with a sponsor. I respect the people that do it. I don't care about uh, fashion so much. So I, it would be no, no cool, you know, the brands. Tell me, how much time do you spend in the studio and what's your setup? I don't have a studio right now because I, I used to live in Bucharest and now I'm building, I moved to Barcelona. So my studio is in boxes in Bucharest. Uh, so yeah, the, this year I've been working in my friend's studios, Martin Butrich, I'm, I made the album there. And yeah, I've been around like a gypsy, but my studio is ready in two weeks. So. And what setup I have, I have so many things, you know, I, I have a couple of pianos. Now, uh, the new studio is with Francesco, so we're going to have a, his grand piano and uh, almost every synth and machines and... Do ideas come? Is there a place that makes you more creative? No, ideas come, one sound takes to the other one and then... I don't know how to explain it, but it's like that. Do you have a special place that makes you creative? What makes me creative is to have a good mood, you know, to... I... I you have days when you say, okay, today nothing works, so I'll go home. No, if I get to the studio, it always works. No, I, 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 I believe that music is uh, endless and you just need to be there and I know, try to get inspired. If you could collaborate with someone doesn't have to be a DJ. Who would you choose? I'm already doing it. Francesco Tristano. I was my dream to make music with him and I'm, I have a band now. So, yeah. Tell me more about your albums and who you worked with until now. I can't say nothing <laughs> because the label, uh, the way to promote it is, well, not, the label is Cutting Heads. The first single came out now with Martinez Brothers, Jebali and Hadro um, remix. The second, rem the second single comes in January with a remix of a big Romanian producer, one of my favorites. And a legend from Detroit, and a legend, another one. And the full album drops in February, and yeah, I'm excited. I also cannot tell you the, the album. So good you will release a track with a Romanian producer. Now, give an advice for the aspiring DJs, something very important they must know. Uh, it's a very tough life. I mean, being a touring DJ, no? Uh, it's different if you want to be a local DJ that lives in the city and plays in a club, it's cool. But if you really want to leave everything behind and travel the world, you should like it.
tell me a track you're listening on repeat. I listen to Francesco Tristano album and Sony, Sequel Songs, it's very good. Your track Loneliness is my favorite one. Yeah. Which one is your favorite that you produce? I don't know. I really like Sun of my uh, Parte de Juegos, Every Cow Has a Bird, Cross Sun was a very important song for me. Many, many songs. And most of the songs I don't remember that I know. What's the easiest and the hardest part of being a DJ? Easiest part, you're doing what you love and you live off this and you get paid and you build your life. Tough, exactly the same. You, it's, it's hard to live off your passion and, and also don't see your family so much. In my case, the life is in Europe for, for artists, so I had to leave Argentina for this and yeah, your life changed a lot and I fall, I miss them and I don't see them anymore so much. But how often do you go to Argentina? One twice a year, once, twice a year, yeah, like a different, like any different country. I want you to read something in Romanian for us. Salut, sunt guti, iar in sera, asta mixes in Crystal Club. Romantic dinner or a gig? Romantic dinner and then the gig the same night. Messi or Ronaldo? Mm, Messi. Coffee or tea? Coffee in the morning, tea at night. Movies or documentary? Documentaries in bed, movies in a plane. Car or bike? Bike. A night out with the boys or a night in the studio? A night out with the boys in the studio. Jazz or rock? Jazz. Low battery or no Wi-Fi? I prefer no Wi-Fi. Black t-shirt or white t-shirt? Daytime white t-shirt, nighttime black t-shirt. Tall blonde or short brunette? Tall brunette. Okay, thanks a lot. Setul live semnat de gut în seara asta a fost demențial, sper că ți-a plăcut și ție. Săptămâna viitoare de la ora 22, tot aici, pe UTV, îți aducem un alt DJ super cunoscut. Crystal Club, Dance FM și UTV, așadar îți mulțumesc pentru că te-ai uitat la noi și în seara asta. Sunt Mari Sonuc, săptămâna viitoare de la 10, pe UTV. See you! Hello, this is Guti. Hello guys, we are the Never Dog. Salut, sunt Mahoni. Ce faci? I am Marcus Schultz. Salut, sunt Pagal. Hi guys, I'm Leon. Hi, this is Joe Daniel. Hi, this is John Bigway. You're watching In Session on UTV.